It was a case that really shocked the region and changed where parents let their children play. 14 years ago, a stranger stabbed eight year old Kevin Shiflett to death as the child played outside his great grandparents home in Alexandria. Now the man accused in the crime wants to be transferred from a state mental hospital that has prompted Shiflett's sister to break her silence for the first time. Stephen Sheeta just spoke with her about her fears. He is live in Alexandria where a judge is weighing this request. Stephen. Awesome. Right now that judge is making a determination about whether or not to grant a request from Gregory Murphy's attorneys that he be transferred to this civil facility. If this request is granted, prosecutors say it could eventually lead to Murphy going free. And this is something which deeply troubles the Shiflett family. I can't let this man go free. I'm in fear of other children. 14 years after the horrifying murder of her little brother, Heather Huntington is breaking her silence. You can't just take a life of, a, of an innocent child and say, okay, I'm cured now. She's afraid the man who savagely stabbed eight-year-old Kevin Shiflett might get out of this state mental hospital for the criminally insane. We go to the cemetery on the anniversary date and on his birthday. Painful. I, I cry every time he stole my little brother. Kevin Shiflett was visiting his great grandparents in Alexandria. While he played outside, Gregory Murphy, apparently fueled by racial hatred, grabbed Kevin. He stabbed him 18 times and slashed his throat. Yesterday, Murphy's attorneys argued he will never be competent to stand trial. They asked that he be transferred from the state hospital for the criminally insane in Petersburg to a civil facility for treatment. Prosecutors argued against such a move, citing the possibility this could lead to Murphy's eventual release, something Heather Huntington finds unimaginable. I wouldn't be able to live. I, I, I would live in fear. I have a son that's the same age as my brother was when he was killed. Now, one factor that the judge will be taking into consideration is Murphy's lengthy rap sheet. Now, the judge is expected to make a decision in about a week. Reporting live, Stephen Cheetah, ABC 7 News. Okay, thank you, Stephen.